Hey, what's up? I am back. More MLB commentary as today. The first of two games I'll be calling the New York Mets taking on the New York Yankees in game one of their doubleheader. And then I'll be calling the Braves Phillies later on tonight. So, as you can see in the stream information, this is a nationally broadcast game on TBS, except for the New York area where you'll be seeing it on your local feeds. So, uh, you may also notice in the scoreboard that the 8th and ninth innings are X'd out. Since this is a doubleheader, uh, the new rule in 2020, at least for this season, hopefully just for this season, doubleheaders are to be cut down to seven game, uh, seven innings, and especially because game two of the doubleheader will be played in Queens. So, yep, taking that 15-minute drive from the Bronx to the Queens, that is if they want to take the toll route, of course. Uh, I actually just looked it up, so it's only about a 15-minute drive. So, say this game ends at... Four o'clock. They'll probably get the first pitch in around maybe five o'clock. You know, traffic's favorable to get to the stadium around four fifteen, four thirty. Quick warm ups. They're underway. But anyway, uh, what's at stake right now? Mets right now sitting at fifteen and seventeen in fourth in the NL East. But let's see how they are in terms of the playoff picture. Because I think last I heard, they were the ones hanging on to the playoff spot. The last wild card. As you can see, because this is an all-New York battle, I figured I'd pay tribute to their XFL team, the New York Guardians, who I'm looking forward to seeing in 2021. But uh, Right now... They're right now a game back of the Phillies. Phillies at 14 and 14, Mets 15 and 17. So they're 0 0.031 percentage points behind them as well. Meanwhile, the Yankees. Thanks to that seven-game losing streak has allowed Tampa Bay to just run off with the AL East, but still plenty of time left. They now sit... Oh, I got to look at the division. They have a playoff spot because they're second in the AL East, but they are four games back of Tampa Bay. And that was thanks in large part to that seven-game losing streak. So on the mound today for the Yankees, the right-hander Michael King, and so far this season, oh, holy shit. Open that up in another tab. So, so far, King has appeared in four games, one and one this season, ERA of 659, 13 and two-thirds innings pitched, 12 strikeouts to his name. Won his last start two weeks ago against Boston. Oh, it wasn't a start. I think it was, he got the decision. So, ready to rock and roll. 75 degree day in the Bronx, but mostly cloudy. Sounds like an ideal day. 
is warm, but not unreasonable. And also just pointing out, game two of this game will be on ESPN. Again, except for in New York, where it's on their local feed. So, about to get underway here in the Bronx. Let's take a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Mets. Batting first, playing center field will be Brandon Nemo. Batting second, playing right field, Michael Conforto. Batting third, playing third base, J.D. Davis. Batting fourth, playing left field, is Dominic Smith. Batting fifth, DHing, the former Yankee, uh, yeah, Robinson Cano. Batting sixth, playing first base, Pete Alonzo, batting seventh, playing second base, Jeff McNeil, batting eighth, catching, Wilson Ramos, and batting last, shortstop, Andreas Jimenez. So. Cano, so far this year, batting 364. Michael King, 12 strikeouts, 5 walks, and he's allowed 3 home runs. So Gary Sanchez will be catching today for the Yankees. Infield looks like this. Third base, DJ LeMahieu. Shortstop, Jordan Mercer. Second base, Tyler Wade. First base, Mike Ford. In the outfield, left fielder, Brent Gardner. Center fielder, Aaron Hicks. And right fielder, Mike Talkman. The Honorable Judge Aaron still on IL. And the umpire. Nah, no one gets a damn about the umpires. And we're ready to roll. As Nemo will get us started here today. 245 average with five home runs and 10 RBIs to his name. And we are underway as the first pitch is a ball. And the 1 0 pitch called strike. One and one. For the Yankees, this is their third appearance on my Twitch commentary. The Mets second as the 1-1 one, one swing and a miss, strike two. Yankees 2-0 two and oh, as they defeated the Nationals on opening night in the range shortened game. And four weeks ago, defeated the Red Sox 9-7 as the 1-2. Ding, ding, punch out! And that's how the game will start today in the Bronx, a strikeout. Well, for the Mets, the one game I called was the 3-2 loss to the Red Sox back on July 30th. That was Thursday Night Baseball on Fox. As Conforto comes to the plate. And the first pitch is fouled off. And Porto batting 319 with five home runs and 14 RBIs to his name. And the pitch 
low for a ball. Conforto has a hit in 26 of 32 games this season. And a grounder to third, played, and he is out at first. Two-way. Now, J.D. Davis will make his way up to the plate. And the first pitch, call the strike, 0-1. Davis, 275 hitter, four home runs, and 12 RBIs to his name. And he'll one pitch. In there, strike two. And the O2. And outside, just a little bit inside, one and two. So the Mets right now sit ninth in the playoff picture. They're just a game and a half back of the Phillies. As the 1-2 is sent to right. Talkman going to chase it down. Did he catch it? He did. And the side is retired. So 1-2-3 inning to start off the game. Yankees come to bat with no score. As pitching for the Mets today, number 22, the righty Rick Porcello. Mayhew will lay it off for the Yankees. Let's get take a moment to take a look at action elsewhere. They are just underway in Cincinnati between the Cubs and Reds, as well as in Detroit between the Twins and Tigers. Top one in Miami, Tampa Bay leading one nothing. As the batting order for the Yankees today, as DJ LeMahieu will lead it off, playing third. DH Luke Voigt backs him up at second. Center fielder Aaron Hicks bats third. Mike Toshman backs fourth, playing right field. Gary Sanchez batting fifth and playing catcher. Mike Ford batting sixth, playing first base as LeMahieu takes a strike to start the at-bat. Brett Gardner batting seventh, playing left field. Jordy Mercer batting eighth, playing shortstop as that's a strike to LeMahieu 0-2. And then closing it out, batting ninth, Tyler Wade playing second. 
LeMahieu, a 403 hitter this year with two home runs and eight RBIs to his name as the 0 2 pitch fouled off. There we go now. More center. Marcelo with the 0 2 pitch. Did he go? No, he did not. One and two. And a one two pitch. Outside for a ball, two and two. And a two two pitch. And counts now full. So three and two now. The pitch. He will foul this one off. Right now, the payoff. And the pitch. He will once again foul that off to the right. Payoff pitch it is fouled off once again. So LeMahieu able to push for double digit pitches in the at bat as this upcoming pitch will be the 10th. The pitch, and he got a piece of that one. He has fouled off the last five pitches. Oh, excuse me, the last four pitches. And the pitch. And he will walk him to start the game. They'll start the bottom of the first for the Yankees. Boyd now comes to the plate. So 11 pitches in that at bat. And pick off, no avail. Luke Voigt this year, 308 hitter with 12 home runs and 22 RBIs to his name. In the pitch. And it looked like it went off the glove. It will be in for a hit. LeMahieu going for third. Voigt going for second. He'll get in there. So a double for Voigt as they got runners on second and third to start the inning. Take another look. Let's see what happened. It looked like 
Uh, looked like it just deflected off the glove of the third baseman. As Aaron Hicks steps up to the plate, 198 hitter so far this year. And they don't know if they've gotten the scores decision on that last one, if that was indeed a hit or they're going to call it an error. But the 1 0 here. And a 2 0 pitch will be chopped foul. Two one and time will be called. And they did indeed count it as a double, so change that to the two one pitch. We'll now we'll go to three and one. The so three one to Hicks. He will drill that one foul, so it's a full count now. Payoff pitch coming. Ding, ding, punch out. And that will be the first out of the inning. A much needed strikeout. Two in scoring position, nobody out. will bring up Mike Talkman, 300 hitter, no home runs and seven RBIs to his name, and he will take a strike to start the at-bat. And the pitch. High for a ball, one and one. So one one pitch. High for a ball, two and one. Yeah, I know they're not playing today, but you know what? I'm still paying homage to the only New York team I support. As the 2-1 and the pitch. Browner to second. This will get a run in. As that will out at first, but a run will score as everyone moved up a base. And 
strike one. The pitch. Side for a ball, one and one. The pitch high two and one now. The Sanchez and the pitch foul. Yeah, fouled it off. The catcher had a thoughts about making the play for maybe a second. And 2-2 pitch, outside for a ball, full count now. Payoff pitch coming. And hits this one high and playable. That will retire the side, but not before the Yankees draw first blood. One inning played here in the Bronx. It is Yankees one, Mets none. And pitch start top of the second is a strike. They may have lost the twitch feed for a sec. And the pitch in there, strike two. So stop streaming and start again. All right, well, and the O2 
sends this one high and deep and off the wall.